Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, folks, that's all I can play because if not, I get the video demonetized because of the copyright thing. Folks, welcome to the channel. And yes, of course, it's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. I actually went to see this in the movies with my family. We had a great time. Solid 4 out of 5 movie. Man, where to start? It, it is really good. It's really great. It has just a, a little bit of, man, it could have been a little bit more creative, a little bit more original, especially in the story. Maybe a little bit little lack of self-conscious in some things, but other than that, Tom Cruise action movie through and through. I liked it a lot, man. I had a, a blast. Well, it's pretty long. It's almost like a two-hour long movie. It just goes by super quick. Um... And maybe one of the things that I liked about it that, that I criticized about Keanu Reeves and uh, uh, John Wick is that you know, they actually went for a story that you don't have to do something super original. It has to be something somewhat okay and don't fall into that ridiculous thing of making your own movie a joke like having a blind guy kicking John Wick's uh, butt, which makes no sense whatsoever, and then repeating the same action th scene over and over. No, this is not it. This is, at least in my opinion, a much, much better action movie. That's why I give it, a again, a very solid 4 out of 5 stars. So the story, again, you don't expect anything uh, too uh, far-fetched. It's uh, about... Um, Tom Cruise, he has to find a couple keys, these two keys combined, unlock something that is somewhat of a mystery, even though we know this just as soon as the movie starts. It's like an AI artifact that is in a submarine, in a Russian submarine, is sunk in the, you know, under the, uh, the Arctic or something like that, okay? But basically, he's chasing after this key. And from there, that's where the movie goes. And you really don't need much of a, a complicated story. I actually hate it when they go with these stories that... What is it that they were doing again? What is it that they're trying to find? Who is the bad guy here? You know, the, these movies where it's so complicated. No, it's a it's a damn action movie. We want to see Tom Cruise run, okay? <laughs> and that that he does and he does very well. So, um Everything is very polished, very tailored, uh, very neat. You see the love for the craft. That's one of the things that Tom Cruise is known for, besides his, his stunts. And the stunts are pretty epic. This one in particular, where he goes and boom, yeah. That's him, actually, and he actually did that like six times, which is pretty cool. Um, but besides that, the movie... It has beautiful photography, it's uh, the scenery in Rome and Venice, it all just works. And one of the things that sometimes movies, action movies these days are lacking is uh, controlling the pace, the rhythm. How much action do I have? Is this just one amazing thing after the other until it's no longer amazing? Or no, is it like it has a rhythm, there's conversations going on, there's things happening, there's people talking, they're explaining the plot. Uh, you see something that's a little bit more dark, a little bit more, more mysterious. A little bit more of an action scene, something more in your face, something more bald. Every once in a while you have uh, a pretty interesting thing to watch, a little bit of that eye candy going on, but then it goes back to plot, to telling me what's going on. And then you have more action, you have you know, the car chase, and it has even a little bit of humor and some fun going on, some, some funny business going on there. Yeah, maybe the part where the 40 pound, you know, 60 pound blonde beat Beats up a guy that no way in hell she could possibly do. Anyone that ever threw a punch in his life knows this perfectly well. But we allow a little bit of, you know, disbelief there simply because, yeah, it's an action movie. But actors, I mean, uh, Tom Cruise, you know what to expect. He does that very well. Uh, the rest of the cast, they perform just uh, as, as expected. Everything very polished, very well uh, done uh, all through the movie. And it goes by very fast. Um, so... The, all of the action scenes, they are, there's enough variety. That's one of the big things, again, from John Wick. It's always the same damn thing. Come on, give me something different. I get it. Something that worked is worth repeating, uh, but not all the time and not as the only thing. If, if John Wick is known for the gun play and the, how realistic that is, you cannot just do that through the three damn movies. Give me a little bit of variety. Give me something a little bit different. And that is definitely delivered here in uh, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Honestly, I'm looking forward to Part 2. So that's going to be it for all, you know, for this guy. See you on our next video. Take care.